Hello guys, welcome back to Coden. So as continuing with the series of C, so we are going to discuss about what are the different different kinds of data types and what do, do we mean by variables and what do we mean by constant. So these are some of the questions that could be arising in your mind and you might get confused at why are we using percentage D or why are we using percentage F and many other things like what is the basic purpose of using a data type? Why do we use a data type? What are the involvement of data types in C and why basically what do, how we define a variable and what is the difference between a variable and a constant. So all these we are going to discuss in this video. So guys if you are new to my channel please do like it, share it and also subscribe to my channel. I have already posted content on different different topics HTML, CSS, Python, Java, C++. So if you have not watched my previous videos and if you want that videos so do check that out on my channel and here is the, all the videos that I have posted on my channel so also subscribe to my channel so that you get daily update whenever I post a new video I post a new video every Thursday and I'm also posting content on my Instagram page which is really useful for you the link is in the description please do follow that also and please keep supporting and sharing as much as with your friend so that I get the subscribers and can post useful content for you free of cost so let's get started with the big smile on your face so that to increase positivity let's start with the topic first of all that is data types so when i am talking about data types data type basically means the type of data it is associated with suppose whatever we are using in a program it is to be have of some similar type, type that is known as a data type so whenever we are talking about c c suppose different data types such as int float double character and there are some user defined data types also but we are going to discuss that when we are going to explain you that topic in my future videos so for that you need to stay tuned with to my channel so whenever we are talking about the c support data types these are in flow double and character as i told you we also have a built-in size of operator that tells us the memory requirement that all these data types are taking into it so that is the purpose of size of which we are using in C. As I told you in my previous video that what is the C language? It is basically focused on the memory representation. So we have talked about memory representation. So the memory of the data can be checked with the help of size of operator. So why we use int, when we use float or when we use character. So they are going to understand this with the help of codes also and how the memory representation work. Let's understand this with the help of an example. I am writing a code in my Turbo C compiler it, which I am going to include some header files which are necessary as I told you in the previous video that why are we use header files to include some necessary functions into it. So I have included the header files studio.h and then I have included the conio.h After I am using an int main function, in the int main function what we are going to exactly use, I am going to use a thing that will include all the statements which will help me know the size of the particular type of operator. First of all I am using over here int. So whenever I am talking about int, int is basically used to store all the content vintage of integer type that is basically a whole number. So whenever I am going to check the size of int, so what I will use size of and then in the brackets I am going to write int. So whenever I close the bracket and end it with a semicolon, so I will get the int size. Then I have the printf statement in which I have written float. So when I want to check the data of float, so when I'm talking about float value, the float value will include all the values that have a decimal precession with it. Means the decimal value rather than the value. Suppose say I have to write 10.54. So add that will be included in the float type of operator. So the size of float that will be included in the whenever I'm going to check the size of float data type. Then similar to that, we can check the by using the printf statement, the size of character data type or if you want to check the size of double data type all we can do with the help of this thing then we have used a get ch in the return zero so when i am going to execute this code after saving this file when i am going to execute this code so the execution of the code is done by control f9 so i'll execute it so you can see the int is 2 and the float value is 4 so that is basically the size of the int type and the float type if you have given double over here the value could be 8 now the next part is what do we mean by variables? That what do we mean by variables? As variable means basically a name. Like you have some name. So that is the identity of your name. That you are recognized by, by your name. So similarly whenever we are using variables in the program. So basically it is mean to define something that the name given over here. Suppose I say I have written int a. So basically int a means that the variable a is type of int. 
integer type and whenever I'm using that a it will hold a particular value so whenever I want to name a variable it will either start with a letter or underscore or both can be included into that but it should not start with a number and should not be any reserved keyword and I'm talking about reserved keyword you cannot declare a variable say like int int because it will occur as an error because int is already a defined data type in C language so there are many kinds of reserved keywords that are available in C language we cannot use that in a compiler which are already reserved we can use only that which are not reserved and we can create our own variable you can name your name also as a variable so let us understand how we are using a variable and how it actually works in C language so here we are going to write a program in which we are going to explain you that how we are using a variable so whenever I'm talking about a variable in this case I will be using all the three variables or three data types that we have that the int float and the character type so that is easy for you to understand so first of all I've written over here int a comma b comma c you can give as many number of variables that you want to give into a particular data type after I have written float in which I have given sl maybe anything point of view thing you want in which I have given a value in points form then I have given a character ch in which I have given the value as z means just a single value that is z so whenever we are writing something in single code that is a character when you write something in double code that is called as a string after that I am just assigning the values of the data that I have already given suppose I have given a and b so I am just assigning the value of a and b as a equals to 8 b equals to 10 and then I am adding both the values we can assign the values later on also or as we have done in the float and character case earlier case also now what we are going to use percentage d and then we are going to use a slash n slash n is basically used to move to the new line it is an escape sequence there are different different types of escape sequence that are available in c language so slash n is basically used to move to next line which we have printed c then i have used a percentage f over here in which i am going to print the float value the float value over here was in sal so i will write that variable that is sal that is used to print that variable after that i am going to write printf statement percentage c in which I am going to write the value that is of the character one. So percentage C is used whenever I want to add a character. So I will write over here CH and then I will close the braces and end it with semicolon. Each of the statement that we are going to use must be ended with a semicolon because if we do not end a statement with semicolon, it will result out to be an error. Then I've given a return zero and then I've given the get CH. So basically get CH is used to hold the program and with braces you need to check the braces you need to check the semicolon whenever you are using that value so whenever we are using these things so when you when the program will execute you will get to know that the integer values what is the output and then the float value what output will be shown and what will be the output whenever i'm using a character type so these are the most probably the data types that are used in almost every program if you want to declare something Will you either use an integer type, will you either use a float type or a character type? So when I am talking about the integer type, integer type will restore the whole number or the float type into the decimal number. So as you can see in the output, the value of C is 18, the value of salary is this, and the value of CH is 2. So this is the basically the difference between all the three things. We have in C is the constant. So when I am talking about a constant, as the name suggests that the value of the constant will remain same throughout the program means the value whichever been declared in the form of constant will remain the same as initialized by it already included the cornea file for the necessary things that I need to add into it so in this case I am just going to use a pi function so for that I am going to define a constant value for the pi means as I know that whenever I am going to use a pi value the value should remain same so I am declaring here as constant double in which I have given pi equals to 3.14 so that means whenever I am using the pi value it should not be changed even if the pi is being used in any other assignment operator still the pi value will remain same so I have used printf in which I am going to write percentage f and that particular pi value so when I am going to use percentage f why I am using percentage f because double is also a part of float but it includes more value as compared to the floating point so if you have larger number of values so what we will use we will use double with it so i have used percentage f and the pi and then given get ch and return zero so whenever i am going to execute this code so what is the purpose that it will show me the constant value only so now i am going to save it and run it and compile that particular program so as you can see 3.14 and because i give the top right corner the link 
of the data type through which we can understand that how the data types actually work so in this we are going to understand that how these all work i'm going to explain you each and every topic in my for future videos so i hope you understand what is we mean by a variable constant and why are the data types with the help of the program so guys if you like the content that i post please do like it share it and also subscribe to my channel and please share it as much as possible so that each and everyone gets the content as it necessary for you to learn and as easier so that as if you are a beginner you can learn it easily so guys if you like it please do like it and also subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching